Hey everybody, Jay here. I am going to review Marvel Legacy number one. I picked this up last week. Um, I went to the comic book shop and was actually looking for it. I read a few things about it online and I figured I'd give it a shot. Haven't really touched a Marvel comic in a while, but this one kind of drew me back in, I guess you could say. Um, so when we start with it, it starts with Loki and some frost giants breaking into a facility to steal something um it doesn't really say what kind of have an idea because it's loki so we kind of get a little feeling of what he's wanting um then it cuts to sam wilson lady thor uh trying to stop him there with a couple of shield agents and i learned that shield is dismembering Okay, um, then they meet up with Loki and the Frost Giants, and they start to fight. That's when we learn that since Steve Rogers is back and his doppelganger's gone, Sam Wilson's going to give up the role of Cap and give it completely back to Steve. Then we learn Lady Thor, which who is Jane Foster, is dying of cancer and the powers aren't really helping her out as much as they was anymore beyond that they cut to a scene of mary jane with scientists and they learn tony's body is gone he was in a coma for a while and now he's just gone no other explanation it just vanished poof um my guess is he's waking up. We then cut to Steve in a diner where they're talking about Captain America. He has his shield. He's kind of worried about coming back, I guess, ever since everything with Captain Hydra went down. Um, then they cut back to Lady Thor and Sam Wilson's Captain America. Fighting, uh, that's when Ironheart comes in, and they're still battling Loki and the Frost Giants. Um, it was, it's not bad. They have Ironheart joke around about the Avengers, she keeps saying. Avengers, what is that? That, uh, is it Avengers Avenge? No, I don't know. Um, it's got a few things about uh Sam and Lady Thor kissing um kind of okay but that's just me um and then it cuts to one of my favorite characters which is Deadpool Deadpool's on the run for killing Agent Coulson he's sitting in a gas station bathroom stool um praying hoping Knowing that he's messed up, hoping that, you know, things can be resolved, um, he's confessing his sins, which was pretty cool, because you know if Deadpool's praying, things are serious. Then it cuts back to Sam Wilson and Lady Thor making out, uh, there's still Frost Giants around, and they're after a package, um, enter a mysterious guy. We find out who is actually Wolverine. He gets the package and it turns out to be an Infinity Stone. Okay. Uh, not really understanding. If you remember, Wolverine died. I think it was back in 2014. Late? Maybe early 15? He's back. <laughs> That's pretty much all you can say about it. Um, he gets the Infinity Stone... And he's just like, what a pair we are, right? And you're just kind of like, what's Wolverine going to do with that? So it was actually pretty cool. Um, and then it cuts to the scene with a young Jean Grey standing next to the adamantium that was actually poured on Wolverine when he died. And it hardened. Um, it shows it's been cut down the middle. It's actually a pretty cool scene. Then this is when I, the comic kind of takes for a turn to where I'm like, what? Why? 
Um, it shows Johnny Storm and the Thing, and apparently they're going to be a duo now. And Johnny's just kind of like, I don't even know why we're doing this. They don't even need us and things like, yeah, they do. They definitely need us. Not really. With all the heroes they have right now, I, I don't believe they actually need them. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, okay, I don't mind seeing where this goes. I guess we're just have to find out what's going on. Um, and then comes toward the end, we see the children of uh, Reed and Sue exploring universes and reads with them and they want to come home i thought they died but apparently not um the fantastic four i feel like they eh, they don't they're not really needed with all the heroes that we have now in the marvel universe it's just kind of they're from what i can tell and what I've seen, they're pretty much just rebooting by starting over. They're getting rid of heroes that were reboots of other heroes, and they're going back to their originals. Um, which is what I've been saying they need to do for a long time, because it's just... They're, who can beat the originals? Um, we also learn that the Hulk is still alive. Bruce Banner is still alive. They, he's on a different planet, and somebody is trying to communicate with him to tell him to come home. Awesome. The Hulk. Gotta love the Hulk. Um, my rating on the comic is, honestly, I give it at least uh, 8.5 out of 10. It jumped around a lot, but it's one shot, so it kind of has to. I enjoyed it. It was very cool. It was very awesome. Glad to see Wolverine back. Glad to know the Hulk's back. Um, nice to see Tony's coming out of the coma. They didn't touch anything on Spider-Man, though. Which was, I don't know, maybe they have something else for install for him. But it was a good comic. Definitely 8, 8.5 out of 10, I give it. Um, definitely going to have to check out a few of these comics that they got going on. Definitely want to see what they do with Deadpool. Definitely want to see what they're going to do with Wolverine. But yeah, I mean, it was good. Check it out. Check out some of the other stories they got going on. I mean, if you're a fan of any of it, buy. Go to your local comic book shop. Buy it. Get it going. Let's see what's going on. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day, and I'll see you soon.